Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you briefly about hyperbolic functions. Okay, so this video is about hyperbolic functions. Okay, so let's let me underline that. Okay, so hyperbolic functions are not the same as trigonometric functions, so they're not trigonometric functions, okay? So they're similar in terms of their names, okay? And, um, but they're not trigonometric functions. They're a different class of function, okay? So let me go through the hyperbolic functions and let me go through um, similarities, okay? So there are some similarities in some ways, but remember what I said, they're not trigonometric functions, okay? So, here are the hyperbolic functions. The first one is hyperbolic sine, so S A N S I N H X. Okay. Now we can define these hyperbolic functions in terms of exponentials. Okay. So um, I I call them I call these the definitions of the hyperbolic functions. So and they're defined in terms of exponentials. So definition of hyperbolic sine is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2, okay? There's also um, a hyperbolic cos. That definition in terms of exponentials is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2, okay? And there is hyperbolic tan, okay? Now, as I said before, they're similar in terms of, yes, I mean, hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cos, hyperbolic tan, and there's trigonometric sine, cos, and tan. They're similar in terms of name, okay? But they're also similar in other ways as well, because um, in the trigonometric um, ratio, in the trigonometry ratio, when I explain the ratios, okay, um, tan is sine over cos, okay? Hyperbolic tan, in a similar way, is hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cos okay so with this in mind we can have a definition of hyperbolic tan using the definitions of hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cos so if I do a replacement so hyperbolic sine we know is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 okay uh, let me use a ruler so divided by definition of hyperbolic cos which is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. Okay, now we can simplify that, and when we simplify that, we'll get the definition of hyperbolic tan, which is e to the x minus e to the minus x, okay, all divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. So that is the definition of hyperbolic tan, okay. There's a further three more functions, for, uh, three more hyperbolic functions. So similar to trigonometric functions, there's hyperbolic cosec. So remember, cosec is one over sine in trigonometry and hyperbolic cosec in a similar way is one over hyperbolic sine, okay? So let's derive that definition. So we've got the definition of hyperbolic sine. If I insert this definition into this result over here, I'm gonna get the definition of hyperbolic cosec. So one over hyperbolic sine, we know e to the x minus e to the minus x over two. Okay, and if we continue, we're gonna have two over e to the x minus e to the minus x. Okay, so that's the definition of hyperbolic cosec. So we can continue forward. So the next uh, result is hyperbolic sec. So trigonometric sec is one over cos. Hyperbolic sec is one over hyperbolic cos. Okay, so let's find a definition of hyperbolic sec. Let me put the definition of hyperbolic cos into this result, giving me one over hyperbolic cos, which is e to the x 
plus e to the minus x over 2. And if we continue further, we're going to have 2 over e to the x plus e to the minus x. So that's a definition of hyperbolic sec. Okay, just one more. So we have hyperbolic cot. Okay, just as with trigonometric cot, that is 1 over tan. Okay, hyperbolic cot is 1 over hyperbolic tan. But remember, tan is, um, so hyperbolic tan we've seen is hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cos. So if we go further, so if I substitute the hyperbolic tan with hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cos, so hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cos, we're going to have hyperbolic cos over hyperbolic sine. Okay, and if we use these definitions, so, well, you could use the definition of hyperbolic tan here that we derived earlier in order to get your definition straight away, but I'm just showing you that hyperbolic cot is also hyperbolic cos over hyperbolic sine, yeah? So, if we do 1 divided by the hyperbolic tan definition, we're going to have e to the x plus e to the minus x over e to the x minus e to the minus x. Okay, so these are the definitions, okay? So the definitions of the six hyperbolic functions, okay?